Let me show you guys how I cut my own hair in the most overkill way I can possibly think of. From that, to this. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So the pandemic seems to be never going away and I'm just stuck at home almost every day with my hair growing longer and longer every day. It's just such a hassle to go outside and have someone else cut my hair, especially during this time. And that's when I saw my friend Jensen's haircut tutorial. Come for the laughs, stay for the snacks. So you're stuck at home and your hair is getting a bit too long, but you're not seeing a barber anytime soon. Well, today I'm going to teach you how to give yourself an undercut. What you're going to need to cut your own hair is a pair of hair clippers, the attachments mm -hmm. that come with it, a pair of scissors, a comb, a small brush, this is optional, a handheld mirror, and hair clips. This is also optional. You can check out my... Sp and I realized I don't have a handheld mirror. So yeah, I have everything that Jensen mentioned in his video. Besides the handheld mirror, what do I do? Then I was like, I have a lot of those black things at the back. Maybe I can make use of them. And that's what I did. So I gathered all the tools that I needed and set up two cameras. One on the side just to show you guys what I'm doing. And the other one acting as an overpowered handheld mirror. I basically hooked up my camera to a wireless HDMI transmitter and placed a monitor right in front of me. That way I can just see everything from the monitor without the need of holding a handheld mirror that way. Honestly, at such a close range, I could have totally gotten away with an HDMI cable instead of a transmitter. But having the signal transmitted wirelessly definitely reduced some chaos from my already tiny washroom. So this is probably the most overkill way to cut your own hair at home. With two cameras and three tripods, and too much time spent on setting this thing up. But hey, it worked. It worked really well actually. So instead of having one hand occupied at all times, both of my hands are free to work on my hair. And on top of that, I have a clear sight of my back right in front of me. And here is the result of my haircut. What you need, come on, just pay the fee, I supply it all. Went up the mountain and it wasn't hard to climb at all. At the top I found some relief, you see, so please don't mess up the moon. Yeah. I went too hard for it. No, I need it's definitely not as smooth as how Jensen did it, but hey, not bad for a first timer, come on. Now that I think about it, there are easier ways that you can try at home without using a handheld mirror. Like plugging a DSLR to an HDMI cable, then to a monitor or a TV, or even just FaceTiming yourself with one phone at your back and like an iPad in front of you. I'm just throwing some ideas at you and perhaps you can start cutting your own hair from home as well. As Jensen said it, all you need to do is believe in yourself. I've shot my shot, what are you waiting for? Thank you guys for watching this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay safe, and I will see you next time.